Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. This is a Microsoft Sway tutorial showing you how to embed external content. What we see right now is our edit interface for Microsoft Sway as we're building out an, an awesome presentation. If you go up to the top left here and click on cards and then go down in the left hand navigation that appears and click on the embed card and drag that over into your edit space here, it's gonna create an embed card for you. Now, where it says tap here and paste your embed code, this is where we're gonna be able to drop HTML code from around the internet that's gonna allow us to bring in content from external resources. So, I'm going to show you a couple examples of where you can get that external content from and bring it into your Sway. So the first one we're going to look at is a Bing map. So I'm going to look at the Statue of Liberty. Bing's going to zoom in on it here. Now. I want to share this map of the Statue of Liberty and I don't want it just to be an image I want it to be this full fully functional Bing map where I can zoom in and zoom out so I'm gonna click on the share button within Bing Maps and it's gonna give me a dialog box that gives me a link now this would be fine to link out to this content but I want to actually bring it into my sway so I'm gonna click on this embed link and it's gonna give me this dialog box that allows me to decide do I want a small embed do I want a large do I want to create a custom pixel dimension do I want a static map no because I wanted to have a draggable map. I wanted it to be interactive. So the settings that I have right here will probably work for me. So I'm gonna click on generate code and then this is the goodies that I'm looking for, this iframe code. So I'm just gonna go ahead, copy that code and I'm gonna head over to my Sway. And remember that spot that we had? Tap here and paste your embed code well, all right, I'll follow the rules. Embed codes in there. And that should generate my Bing map. Let me test the preview. And there it is. All right, let's bring in some other content. So again, my cards are out here already. If it's not, click on cards. Click that embed card and bring it over. So now I got a new one. I want to bring in this Word document. As you can see, I've worked very hard to put content in this Word document. And now I want to embed it in my Sway. So I'm going to find the ellipses up here in the upper right, and the ellipses just reveals more options. And then I see an embed option. When I click on embed, I see that there's an embed code here. So I'm going to uh, take this embed code for this Word Online document in OneDrive. I'm gonna go back over to my test sway and I'm gonna drop it into that embed card. Check my preview again. It's thinking. And there is my Word document. Now let's look at one last embed option. So again, my cards, bring my embed card over. And this time, 
I want to bring in this Microsoft form. This would be a good option if I wanted to show my students some content. Um, you know, in this case, I got a Word document and I've got a map, so maybe I'm doing a geography lesson. And as it's my formative assessment, I'm going to ask them some questions in this Microsoft form. So if I go up to the right hand corner and click on send form, it will reveal a navigation bar on the right hand side. And in this panel, there's an option for embed in a web page. I'll click on that and it's going to reveal my embed code. I got a nice copy button here. So I'm going to copy it and it tells me the code is ready for me to paste. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to come over to the embed code or the embed card, paste it there. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more intense. I'm going to make that the full page. So when I come over to my preview for my Sway, you'll see that I've got a full page here for my form and it's fully interactive. All right, this concludes this tutorial on how to embed external content using the embed card within Microsoft's way.